Our next speaker is going to talk about the genius and courage of dreaming, which kind of makes sense because he happens to be one of the most courageous dreamers I know. Please welcome from Mohawk Industries, George Bandy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Close your eyes for 10 seconds, please. Think about why you are in this line of work. If it's to make money, raise your hand. All right, open your eyes. No one raised their hand. So it obviously was about stepping into this field for a different reason. I've been in the field for 20 years, and this evolution of why we do this work has not changed. It requires courage, and it requires genius in order for you to fulfill the dreams that you desire to fulfill. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so uh, that's courage to put my meme up there for you to pick at. But I uh, want to talk about this courage and this genius as it relates to this vision of sustainability that we have to get to this next place. How much courage does it take for you to fall back into people's arms? It's risky. Think about people who are starting new businesses. This whole maker's movement, this whole evolution of people starting businesses so they can have more time to spend with their families, that requires a lot of courage. What about genius? To be able to think about things in a different way, to look at things in a systematic way, make more connectivities. What is the courage and genius of Mother Nature? What things does she dream about? How about the fact that we don't deplete all of the trees that generate the oxygen that we need? How about the courage and genius of low-income families in those neighborhoods that have more landfills than others? Just to be able to breathe without an ozone alert or to be able to have food or even have access to food inside of their community. What about the courage and dream of businesses that provide solutions? water, energy savings, greenhouse gas emissions. All three of these things are connected. So courage and genius of dreaming is also the courage and genius of success. Whole Foods, people love them. I love them for a different reason. Because even the small, minute grocery store in other communities now has organic food where 10 years ago it didn't because of the courage and genius of someone else. Pharrell made a lot of money singing happy. But in addition to that, how many of you knew he has a plastic bottle recycling company called Raw for the Oceans where he makes all of those items that he designs and also designed a lot of those NBA jerseys for Green Week using those same plastic bottles? Courage, genius design, profitability, business, success. And he also donates a lot of those particular clothing items to communities of concern. People heard about Burio. Courage, genius to step out and take something that was a waste stream, fishing nets, and turn them into skateboards, make them profitable, place them online, and render success in terms of finding something that was waste and turning it into food for something else. These are the nine things that Manfred Max Neef says that we need in order to sustain life and be successful. Subsistence, protection, affection, understanding, participation, leisure, creation, identity, and freedom. You can find connectivities to business, to life, but what it does not give you is Dreaming. Dreaming is what have people doing things that they wouldn't normally do because you see something that you want to have for other folks. This is not about what we gain for ourselves, it's about what we give to other people. That's me with my grandmother, the first sustainability person that I ever met. She didn't throw anything away. <laughs> I still have a quilt that has that bib on it at my house, all right? 
What I didn't know about her courage and genius was that when she did quilts, she did them for people on the Underground Railroad to be able to tell them which direction to go in. Courage, genius, sustainability, all at the same time. What happened in Flint? We didn't have a dream, we didn't have courage, and we didn't have genius to allow that to happen. We have to commit to doing better. People were crying out, frustrated, upset, not understanding how with all the expertise and technology that we have, we didn't make a commitment to look at the water inside of a city that has so much support for so many industries around that area. Not being able to have good oxygen in communities of concern. No courage, no genius. We have to make these things a part of our process, not excluded from. So I challenge you to have one great idea. I had an opportunity to speak in California and my GPS happened to take me down Skid Row on the way. Who's more connected to nature? Who understands sustaining life on a day-to-day -day balance more than people who are on the street every day? They can give you some insight on some things that you would never understand. How do you harness that ingenuity and understand that innovation? Lots of people are crying out for more understanding. What we need to give them is more genius and more courage to dream in a more sustainable way. Courage and genius comes in many forms. Before I leave, I want to leave you with the best example of courage and genius that I've seen in a while. Some of you may have seen this before, but it was the best way I could think of closing out this particular form. Entonces tienen que atender. Mi nombre es Víctor, toco el cello. Mi nombre es Ada Baribel Ríos Bogado y toco el violín. kids in Paraguay actually made all of the instruments out of trash. Look at this. That's a fork, people. Let the gift of music shine through tonight on that stage. I want to close out with a poem by Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays. And it was one that my grandmother taught me when I was relatively young, and she wouldn't let me leave until I could recite it back to her. And I want you to think about it as you kind of move forward with what you're challenged to do in your companies, in your nonprofits, in your startups. You have only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon you. You can't refuse it. You didn't seek it. You didn't choose it. You must suffer if you abuse it. Give an account if you lose it. Just a tiny little minute, but our eternity is in it. Thank you guys for your time. Have a great day.